Hello, everyone. I'm Hao Ran Yu, a fourth year PhD student from Georgia Tech under the supervision of Professor Ian Lee. Today, I'm very excited to present our work, VIT Code, Vision Transformer Acceleration via Dedicated Algorithm and Accelerator Co-Design. The general background of this project is the so-called VIT Vision Transformers. Recently, VIT achieved SOTA performance on various vision tasks such as image classification, object detection. It takes 2D image as input, but splits them as uh, a sequence of non-overlapping tokens like this for following the language model. And here show the basic architecture of VITs, where the core blocks are two parts, multi-high self-attention and MLPs. The core self-attention is illustrated here the embedded input tokens will be linearly projected to QKV3 vectors, namely query, key, and value. Each query will be multiplied with all the keys to get one row of the attention map, resulting attention map with length of sight equal to the number of tokens. The attention map will be further multiplied with the value to get the final output. Although self-attention is powerful since it quadratically measures the similarity among all tokens, VITs still suffer from high computational cost as compared to CNNs. So what are the bottlenecks in VITs? To answer that, we profile seven VIT models to show the breakdown. As shown in the below figures, for each model, the left bar denotes the MLPs and the middle bar denotes the self-attention and the right bar is other embedding functions. We see that in terms of flops, self-attention is not as dominant as MLPs. But in terms of real latency, self-attention consistently accounts for over 50% latency. As shown in this figure, we profile on Edge GPU NVIDIA Jetson TX2 devices. Self-attention as the middle bar occupy as high as 69% when running the LEVIT-128. Within self-attention, metric multiplication between Q and K, attention and V occupy up to 53% latency. Therefore, how to accelerate this core metric multiplication in the self-attention is the key for VIT acceleration. Uh, one natural thought is to looking for existing attention accelerators. In other words, the uh, sparse attention accelerators but unfortunately, they are dedicated to NLP transformers that have dynamic sparse attention patterns for different inputs and thus have to cooperate with the reconfigurable architecture with large overhead, for example, Sanger in Michael and Delta in S+. Here we compile the differences between VITs and NLP transformers and seek for new opportunities for accelerating VITs. The first difference is that VIT have fixed the number of input tokens given consistent image resolutions, while NLP transformers take sequence of various lengths as inputs, resulting in dynamic number of tokens. And the second difference is that sparse VIT can achieve up to 90% sparsity when pruning the attention map, while NLP transformers can only achieve 50 to 60 percentage uh, sparsity. Otherwise, the performance will be largely dropped. Based on such two differences, there are new challenges and also new opportunities to accelerate VITs. The first challenge is how to accelerate VITs without on the fly reconfiguration. And the corresponding opportunity is to leverage the relatively fixed attention map and attention sparse pattern in VITs to fix the data access pattern. Also, we find that there are strong tokens which have strong correlation with all the left tokens. As such, it's desired to cluster them together to enforce the denser pattern, while the left are naturally sparse pattern with much reduced workloads. And the second challenge is how can we balance the computation and data movements? We analytically draw the roofline model of VITs and sparse VITs when multiplying Q and K. As we see from this figure, dense VIT already suffer from the bandwidth or data movements bottlenecks, and the sparse VIT make it even worse. To this point, we observe an opportunity. <coughs> that is, there are redundancies across attention heads. <coughs> 
we could compress the Q and K vectors with a learnable encoder module, for example, from six heights to three heights. And the idea here is to save data movements by adopting some online reconstructions like the decoder here. Based on the, those analyzed opportunities that are specific to VITs, we propose VIT algorithm and accelerator co-design framework called VIT code for accelerating VITs with sparse attention. VIT code integrates two main ideas. One is the split and, and concur algorithm to cluster the workload into denser or sparser pattern. Another is the autoencoder module to compress the attention head before transmitting between off-chip memory and on-chip memory. The corresponding accelerator is expected to be dedicatedly designed for cooperating with the algorithm. The core idea of the proposed VID code algorithm is to reduce both computations and data movements in the self-attention. To achieve that, the first challenge is how to aggressively reduce the uh, computation. Our methods leverage two observations. Why is that the attention map can be prone up to 90% sparsity with fixed masks, resulting in fixed data access patterns? Also, there are strong tokens in the attention that can be clustered together as the denser token. And here we visualize the attention map when applying uh, pruning, reordering, or both of them. Each figure, each subfigure in, uh, in this plot showed. Uh, 12 by 12 attention maps that correspond to 12 layers, with each layer having 12 attention heads from up to down and from left to right. If we only use pruning, it leads to fixed attention masks, where yellow color means zero and green color denotes one, but the workloads are mostly sparse and irregular. If we only use reordering, although the strong tokens are categorized to the left, but other computation are dense. Combining pruning and reordering, the resulting attention are uh, either dense or sparse but regular, leaving the opportunity for the hardware to, uh, to further accelerate. And the second challenge is how to aggressively reduce the data movements. Our design insight is to treat costly data movements with cheaper computations. Based on one opportunity that is uh, there is redundancy among attention heads, which means that we can compress the QK vectors before transmitting them back and forth. To this end, we insert an encoder to compress, for example, six heads to three heads, and a decoder to reconstruct it back to six heads. The reconstructed heads and the original heads are then enforced to be the same with the reconstruction laws. After inserting, we need to fine tune the whole model for recover the accuracy. As shown in this figure, we visualize the accuracy trajectory along with the training process. We are the uh, dashed line are the uh, dense VIT's accuracy, while the uh, solid line represents the fine tuning process. We can see that the accuracy is fully recovered for the three DIT models. So far, we have introduced the two main ideas in VID code algorithm to trim down both computation and data movements. To unify them together, we show the overall algorithm training pipeline. The input is the pre-trained VID models, and the step one is to insert autoencoder module and fine-tune the model for 100 epochs. And the step two is to perform pruning and reordering to split the workload to two parts and then fine-tune another 100 epochs. For VID code accelerator, the core idea is to develop a dedicated accelerator for supporting algorithms. And that <coughs> there is, uh, before talking about the detailed architecture, I want to highlight one design exploration about the data flow. There are two potential data flows for multiplying Q and K. The first one is called S stationary, which executes different QK vectors in parallel while the features of each QK are multiplied sequentially for accumulation. Its advantage is that both Q and K are fully reused after being loaded from optional memory. But the disadvantage is that it needs a large on-chain buffer to hold the intermediate partial sums, 
Also, the utilization is low since each PE calculates one attention score. So it's hard to reconfigure for sparse attention. Another one is called K stationary. It loads K vector and multiply them with different Q vectors in a sequential manner. The advantage is that key vectors is fully reused and only a small entry buffer is needed for the intermediate results. Also, it's more suitable for sparse attention since it only calculates non-zero values. Therefore, we can consider it in our cases. To make such design principle come true, our microarchitecture features a two-pronged architecture design, which incorporates one denser engine and one sparse engine. The denser engine processes the enforced regular and relatively dense part, while the sparse engine working on the left much reduced sparse workload. Note that the index for non-zeros are preloaded to the entry buffers thanks to the VAT code algorithm. For, for the PE arrays, we additionally consider to insert two modules, uh, encoder and decoder. As shown right here, encoder and decoder have their own processing elements or PE lines. Those PEs can also be used to process denser or sparse workloads when the encoder decoder is not needed. Since all attention heads are processed in parallel, the assigned PE line for each head cannot afford the QK matrix multiplication in one cycle. As such, we consider fine-granted tiling and carefully designed spatial or temporal mappings. For QK matrix multiplication, we consider K stationary um, data flow and tell the QK vector along the feature dimension. Um, and, and, and we map them to the uh, processing elements spatially. Then we multiply the loaded K with all related Q vectors temporally and accumulate their partial sums among different PEs. In other words, we need inter -P accumulation for the final results. And then we get the first column of the attention maps. And then we move, move to the next key vectors. So uh, we can get the second column of the results and so on. For the uh, attention score and the value measure multiplication, we consider output stationary instead to reduce the entry buffer requirements and to avoid frequently loading attention maps. Uh, in particular, we tell the S or V vectors along the token dimension and then temporarily accumulate the partial sum along the feature dimension for updating the V vectors. Such a tiling and computation mapping fully reuse both S and V metrics. But to achieve this, P lines should be reconfigured from inter P accumulation to intra P accumulation. To support such reconfigurability, um, our P line are designed accordingly, where the partial sum can either be accumulated in current P or passed to the next P for accumulation. In particular, our adopted hardware accelerator um, uh, favor two pronged architecture that has denser and spicer engine to handle the enforced torque loads. Also, it um, integrates the encoder and decoder mechanism to encode QK, fact, uh, QK features before moving to memory and recover them back before computation to save the data movements. And next, I will um, talk about the evaluations. We evaluate VAT code across seven VAT models, two data sites using both the efficiency metric and accuracy metric. We compile VAT code against the SOTA based lines, including both the commercial CPU GPU devices and the customized accelerator like Spartan and Sanger. Here is the platform setup figure from our lab. For this project, we use CPU, GPU, and Edge GPU for comparison. And this slide shows the overall comparison with SOTA accelerators. We see that as compared to CPU and GPU platforms, VAD code achieve up to 200, 180 times speed up. And as compared to SOTA attention accelerators, VAD code achieve 10 and 6.8 times speed up over Spartan and Sanger. And next, we also provide 
ablation studies for both algorithm and hardware. For algorithm, we evaluate the split and, and concur algorithm. It can help reduce 40 to 80 percentage latency of attention layers with a comparable model accuracy. And for the autoencoder module, it can compress 50 percentage QK vectors with less than 0.5 percentage accuracy drops. And for the VRT code accelerators, we evaluate the normalized latency and en energy efficiency across 60 to 90 percentage sparsity in the attention map. So we find that VRT code achieves seven times and four times speed up over sp Spartan and Thunder. Also, it achieves nine times energy efficiency over the most competitive baseline Sanger. So to summarize, in this work, we propose the first vision transformer algorithm and accelerator co-design framework, dubbed the VID code. On the algorithm side, VID code integrates a split and concurrent training and uh, also encode the module without compressing the accuracy too much. For the hardware, VID code further develop a dedicated two-pronged accelerator with encoder decoder modules. Finally, I want to uh, acknowledge the funding support from NSF and Meta. That's all. Thank you for your attention.